We just got the latest and greatest news from Yoshi P on what to expect when purchasing a house in Final Fantasy XIV. The recent live letter has given all of us updates on what is coming for housing, and this includes making all wards lottery wards. Up front, I want to say now is the best time ever for any player to be able to purchase a house in Final Fantasy XIV, so stay tuned to learn why. Let's talk about the general idea of how housing has worked up to this point so you can understand some of the changes that are happening. Let's quickly go over the requirements to buy a house. I'm not sure if these are going to change or not, so we might as well cover them here. To buy a personal house, you'll need to be at least level 50 and have reached second lieutenant rank with your grand company. I'll make sure to link the video below on how to reach second lieutenant rank. You will also need to complete related story quests. Let's say if you wanted to have a house in Shirogane, you would need to complete the Stormblood quest, not without incident. If you're an FC and you want to purchase a house, you'll have to have four or more members and have reached rank six in order to buy a house. The FC leader must also have set your rank with the permission to purchase or relinquish land. These might change coming up, but as of right now, these are the requirements. Now, when you wanted to purchase a house, you would need to make the money first. Plots, rather small or large, can range anywhere from 3 to 50 million respectively. If you want a small plot, let's say 3.7 million, you need another million on top of that to buy the construction permit after purchasing said house. Now, not only do you need the money, you would have had to be aware when the house was going for sale, to which you should always use this Discord right here, which has been a phenomenal community in helping each other and everyone eventually achieving the housing dream. Now, the reason you need to know when it goes for sale is because within those 24 hours, a hidden timer will be going. Now, at some point within these 24 hours, at any time, will the house have a small window for you to actually purchase the house? Yes, you heard me right. You have a magic hidden timer that is RNG that determines when the house can actually be bought. This has led to what people call camping, which means literally sitting there for hours on end, sometimes eight or more, to hopefully buy that house and beat out the competition. But even if you were there for those eight hours, if there was 20 people clicking on the same placard, well, you can kind of see where this is going. The chances get lower and lower as more people show up. Now, there is something called prime time that many people utilize in order to maintain some sort of mental sanity. Prime time is the running theory that all houses in Final Fantasy XIV usually sell within the 10 to 14th hour of when it went up for sale. Now, you can see why it's important to know when the house actually went up for sale, which is why that Discord has been so amazing. Just good-hearted people putting the information out there for everyone. Now, this doesn't mean houses can't sell before or after this, but the three times that I actually have tried to go and buy a house myself, every time it has sold within the 10 to 14 hour mark. So personally, I'm led to believe that it actually is true. Now, I'm not saying this to give you anxiety, but dang, this housing system is and kind of was very messed up and could literally destroy your very soul, especially after house number five and on. It just gets more and more depressing every time you didn't get the house. Not only that, but then this would lead desperate people to start using clicking bots, which would allow them to click the placard and not actually have to be there. Now, some might say, well, how do you know if they're using a bot? Well, it's almost impossible to tell during the actual time, but most of the time when the house happens to sell, you will see some players still at the placard five minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes later, clicking on the placard still. Here, we can safely assume they're probably using a bot. Now, I say this to warn you, do not use a clicking bot in order to get a house. If anyone even suspects it after a house is sold, they will be reporting you. And I think Final Fantasy XIV is a little less forgiving on this particular matter. Now that I have probably totally scarred you into what the housing system currently is, let's talk about some gigantic changes that they're going to be implementing in the housing for 6.x roadmap. Now there are going to be four ways to purchase a house in Final Fantasy XIV in the future. These four ways are first come, first serve for personal, first come, first serve for FC, lottery system for personal, and lottery system for FC. This means that they can assign one of these four methods to any wards or even subdivisions in a particular area. Let's say Shiragane Ward 6 will be first come first serve for personal and Shiragane Ward 7 will be a lottery system for FC. 
This isn't what's actually happening. This is just an example. They will also be able to change this from patch to patch in order to switch around how to obtain houses. Now, this isn't what's going to be happening at first. They have announced that all plots of land in 6.1 will be a lottery system split into FC and personal. So this means that some wards are going to be lottery FCs and some are going to be lottery personal. I don't think we have any idea as to what's going to be what, but it's kind of nice to know that everything's going to be up in the air at first. The reason they're doing this is they don't want to make any first come first serve at the beginning of patch 6.1 as that might affect login queues, which we also have PTSD from when they released Endwalker and no one can play the game for the week. So to avoid that, they're just simply doing a lottery system. So then everyone has to wait the amount of time in order to get a house and there's no login problems. How the lottery system will work, as explained by Yoshi P, will be you will go to the placard of the house you want in that ward. You will need to purchase a lottery ticket from that placard, which is the full price of the house up front. Now you will be entered and it will take a few days to figure out if you win or not. Now for personal lottery rewards, you can just purchase one ticket and whoever else purchases a ticket, it's just RNG random roulette at that point. For the FC wards, this is going to be a little bit of a different system. Each member in your FC can also purchase a lottery ticket that has the rights to be able to do that. Let's use a medium plot in an FC lottery ward as an example. The owner of the FC can purchase a ticket and any FC member can also purchase a ticket. Let's say the house runs for 15 million. Now each person will have to pay that 15 million up front in order to purchase a ticket. So even though some people might fear because some FCs have bigger numbers so they can purchase more tickets, they won't necessarily have the funds for let's say 15 people to purchase plots. That would be 225 million up front. Not only that, I don't know any FC that would have 15 10, maybe even five trusted people to purchase land for them and hand someone 15 million gil and not just think that they might leave the FC right after getting it. So I think they're kind of putting the pressure on the players to make good decisions when utilizing this method to purchase FC houses. Now, my personal opinion is I think people with 5 to 15 people FCs are going to shine here as if you have an FC with your close friends or real life friends or people you've been playing together for a long time, chances are you trust each other and you're going to be able to get two to seven tickets for one house to give you a way better chance for a small plot or maybe just three or four tickets for a medium plot. Now, I know visually you want the biggest plot for your FC available, but honestly, any plot of land can house an FC and give you the same capabilities like submarine and airship functions that are FC specific for housing. To also help mitigate cheaters, they're also going to change the length of someone in the FC before you can give them permission to purchase a house, which will help fake accounts or just creating alts to purchase more tickets. I honestly think this is the best path they could have taken at the current stage as they are working on so many things in game that really haven't had the time to put into housing, even though we have been in a little bit of a housing crisis for almost the entirety of the game. We are all holding out for Island Sanctuary, which is kind of going to be like a Stardew Valley type of thing added into Final Fantasy XIV, where maybe you have an instance house, which I think most players would be happy with. But because we have so little information on it, I'm not really going to bet on that. With all these changes, I honestly feel now is the best time for literally anyone in the game to purchase a house as they have practically got rid of camping and click bots in one fell swoop and have made it completely RNG. Not only that, but for personal plots, you literally have the best chance you've ever had at this point. Now, the only initial downside is that you can purchase one lottery ticket at once, but eventually when they reintroduce first come first serve wards, 
I am wondering if you can purchase a lottery ticket as well as be at a placard in another ward. Time is to tell, I guess, but you know, I will have that information for you when it comes out. So make sure to hit that subscribe button to get notified of all of my future 6.0 videos coming out. I hope this has demystified housing and what is to come. And I want this to be an encouragement to actually save up gill and put your hat in the ring for purchasing a house. You never know if your lottery ticket will be picked and you get your money refunded back if you don't win. So right now is the best time to try. And when I say right now, I mean at the start of 6.1. But right now you need to start saving the money in order to try. So go out there and start making that gill. I want to give a huge thank you to my Patreon supporters as your continued support really helps me to keep people updated like this with new information as it comes out. If you'd like to connect with me or support my channel, you can find those links down in the link tree down below. This will also take you to my Discord, my other YouTube channel, or my Twitch where I live stream weekly and you can find that schedule on Twitch. If you want to watch more Final Fantasy tutorials and guides, then you can click here.